For most parents, watching their children growing up is a joy. We don't notice the time slipping away. But for parents of children with cystic fibrosis, every day counts. It's a genetic disease which affects the lungs and eventually proves fatal. Sadly, it takes the lives of three youngsters every week. The Cystic Fibrosis Trust has been supporting families for over 40 years, helping them to deal with the hardship and tragedy of living with it. It's like a ticking time bomb. You, you don't know when it's going to go off. <coughs> the disease is caused by a faulty gene which mainly affects the lungs, causing them to produce excess mucus and colonies of harmful bacteria which gradually get worse, resulting in death. Both Sharon's children have cystic fibrosis and each day is a struggle. Karen has about 60 to 70 tablets a day. Paul has 40 to 50 tablets a day. More physio in the evening, more nebulizers, um, And that's really what the day consists of. My biggest fear is uh, they've got a shortened lifespan. Um, Every infection, every cold has the potential to do damage. One bacteria, one bug, one cold could send them on the downward trend and really you're just waiting for that to happen. Clara was very sick for the first eight months of her life until she was diagnosed as having CF. Helen's still coming to terms with what the future could hold for her daughter. When I look at Clara, she's so active, and when, when we go to the playground, she's so full of life and so energised. I find it unthinkable that there will come a time when she may not be able to do all those things. And it's a thing I know as a fact, but I can't absorb in any way emotionally, because if I lived with that, everyday reality would be unlivable. We were put in contact with the Cystic Fibrosis Trust immediately that Clara was diagnosed. They're a source of practical help, and of, of encouragement, um, they make things a lot easier to bear. Pioneering research into the faulty gene which causes the lung damage has been funded by the CEF Trust and every day they're getting closer to finding a cure. In 1989 we found the gene that causes cystic fibrosis. At that time there was huge optimism because everyone thought it would be a relatively easy task to fix it once we'd found it. Unfortunately, that didn't prove to be the case. It has been a real uphill struggle. The body's defences are geared to stop anybody interfering with its genetic makeup, and trying to do that without damaging anything else on the way is a very delicate and a very complicated process, which has been hugely costly. However, we now have identified a treatment which we think is going to change the composition of the lungs to stop the lung disease which 90% of those with cystic fibrosis eventually succumb to. We're raising the money we need to buy this drug, which is going to cost us up to £5 million to purchase for our clinical trials. So all the help we can get at this very important time is very much appreciated. For 29-year-old Nikki West, time is running out. Many sufferers don't live past the age of 30, and she's finding it increasingly more difficult to fight off infections. CF is such a funny illness. On the outside, we don't look that ill at all. Yet inside, nearly every organ is affected by the disease. Just walking um, a few steps, just it's quite difficult to breathe. I just get quite breathless, so I find I tend to walk really slowly. Just hold people up. <laughs> I find stairs really difficult as well. Gene therapy is the closest thing there is to a cure for CF. It basically means that the lungs would function as normal because the correct gene would be inserted into the lungs. Um, unfortunately, I am now too ill for gene therapy, but any child born today gene therapy would work for them. So it's so important because the last thing I want is for a child born today to die from CF. Whatever I do, I want to leave my mark. I would really like to write. That's, that's my hobby at the moment, but I'd like to be able to make that into a career. <laughs> well, one of my dreams is to be normal. 
And if I could have that, then that would be my life almost fulfilled. You can help to give so many young people the chance of a future they currently can't rely on. Your gift, however small, will save lives. Thank you very much. Sadly, since this video was made, Nikki West has lost her fight against cystic fibrosis. However, she would be delighted to know that you are still hearing from her and that the work she championed to raise funds for this gene therapy research, which will help the children and younger adults with cystic fibrosis she cared so much about, to come to a successful conclusion. It would be a very fitting tribute to Nikki if you were able to help us with this research.